So thank you all for sticking around for the Student Poster Presentation Awards. Uh, as we have all witnessed from the space race back in the 60s, we do know that competition does breed innovation. And I'm sure you don't want to, I'm sure you all don't want to hear me wax poetic about how competition is good for overall science and technology development. But as a result of that, NLSI has supported a student poster competition over the last four years. And to this year, we have three awards, a third, second, and first place. And those awards come with a monetary check. And for third place, they will be receiving a $500 check. Second place is $1,000. And third place is $1,500. And perhaps even more valuable to the students, they will also be receiving one of these. <laughs> a certificate that you will forever hold in a place of honor on your walls, I'm sure. Um, so with that, I would like to have a couple of honorable mentions. Uh, the fourth and fifth place student poster competitions were number five was by Paige Northway. Are you in the audience? <laughs> Go ahead and stand up. Thank you. The fourth place, and I'm sorry that uh, the cutoff was third place for the money, but fourth place was to Christina Davis. Are you in the audience? <laughs> and, I, I know. and before we get to the actual awards, I'd like to have all the students who are here, regardless of whether or not you gave a poster, please stand up and uh, and I would like to give a big round of applause to all the students who are here. They are the next leaders of the lunar community. Thank you all. So uh, just a quick note, the, we did have 34 student pres uh, presentations for the poster student, or student poster competition this year. And they were judged by uh, several uh, leaders in, this, in the lunar community over the past couple of days. And the students were judged primarily on originality of the research, impact to the field, and overall presentation. And with that, I'm sure you guys are looking forward to me getting to who actually won. So in third place, and a prize of $500, and yet again, here it is, the certificate is with the poster title of Cometary Delivery of Lunar Water, a Parametric Study, Parvathi Prem. Yeah, go ahead and stand over on the left, if you would. And with second place, again, $1,000 check and, uh, and a certificate for them as well. The, with the title of Using Boulder and Crater Diameter Ratios to Differentiate Primary from Secondary Craters on the Lunar Surface, the Kickapoo High School Team. And as a special note on the side here, uh, Yvonne and Greg have both generously offered to give the second place team a total of $2,000 so that each student will be taking home $500 apiece. Oh yes, sorry.
And while they are taking a photo, uh, I just wanted to make a note about this. This is one of the mentor programs that LPI, uh, our LPI, NLSI's LPI team led by David Kring runs and Andrew, Andrew Shainer over there, stand up Andrew, is the one who works with several high schools around the nation and does a mentorship on lunar research over the course of the summer. And I believe they're looking to expand outward next year to increase the number of teams that they have mentorships for high school programs. So to contact Andy Shainer if you're interested. You're welcome, Andy. Yep. And finally, uh, first place is going to be to the author of a fantastic poster. <laughs> and that author is going to buy the first round at the bar tonight. <laughs> and dramatic pause. For the poster of Timing of Lunar Sinuous Rill Formation, Implications for Lunar Volcanic Evolution, Deborah Hurwitz. So thank you all very much for supporting the students. Uh, as you all know, NLSI is one of our primary missions is to support the training of the next generation. And we hope to continue the student poster competition into the future. And with that, I believe Yvonne has a few parting comments, uh, words of wisdom and inspiration. Thank you. Well, before we, we say our final goodbye, I just wanted to say that it's been a wonderful time. There's always more to say. And I know that, uh, that next year we'll get back together and we'll have even more results and, and more discussion that will just carry us forward into the future. We've seen that the moon has not